Look, I'm gonna live it with you because I like you. We are not getting a dual screen Nintendo Switch. It's, it's not, it's just not happening. Oh, you wanna know why? All right, fine, let's get into it. Look, nobody likes to be wrong, right? I know I don't, but I actually wish I was wrong about this. I hope I'm wrong about this because, you know, a dual screen Nintendo Switch would be kind of cool, especially coming from somebody who still rocks their 3DS. I have the 3DS here. I got the original DS. I got uh, a new 2DS XL. I got DS Lite. I still got this thing. My point is I love a good clamshell handheld. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise, but this is not going to happen. Let's dive into the rumors. So uh, firmware 10.0.0 came out and as it happens with these things, people dove into the firmware to find tidbits of information, maybe some clues on Nintendo's upcoming hardware. And I say Nintendo's upcoming hardware because it goes without saying that they are working on something. When it comes to technology, these companies don't put something out and then just like, oh, okay, we're good. You can just stop all research and development, we got this thing now, and it's, no, usually they start working on a project very shortly after a device has come out, and sometimes they even have projects going concurrently. One is going to come out now, and one is going to come out some years down the road. A bunch of companies do that, it's very common. So the idea that Nintendo is putting something new out, it, it goes without saying, of course they're going to put something new out, and that's how hackers usually find these things. They look into documentation, they look into firmware information, and they find things like model names for products that don't exist yet. And in this case, there's something kind of interesting that data miners found. They found support for a model of a switch that doesn't exist basically, NX ABCD. Now, NX ABCA was the model number for the original switch. That's why for the longest time people thought that the next console by Nintendo was going to be called NX. That's where it came from. So you have NX ABCA, which was the original switch, NX ABCA2, which was the development kit, NX ABC. Now, this is where it gets confusing because I'm seeing some websites calling NX ABCB the Nintendo Switch Lite, and some other websites are calling NX ABCC the Switch Lite. Regardless, there is no NX ABCD just yet. And that's why people think NX ABCD refers to a product probably in the Switch family of devices that just doesn't exist yet. Now, we've heard rumors of something like a Switch Pro, uh, Nintendo Switch device that doesn't actually switch, it doesn't come out of its dock, it's only a stationary device, and perhaps it could have some upgraded internals and maybe it'd be cheaper because obviously it costs money to get all of this in this package, right? Like the controllers and the screen and everything. If you have just the internals, like a box that goes under your TV, that likely would be a little bit cheaper. They could make that a little bit more powerful, maybe to compete with the next generation consoles that are coming out by Sony and Microsoft. Now, this is something that people have thought for a very long time, a fabled Nintendo Switch Pro. And obviously some people think that it wouldn't make sense to make a system like this because if you can't, Switch, there's no reason for this to be called the Switch to be a part of the Nintendo Switch family. But now that we have the Nintendo Switch Lite, people understand that a name is just a name. I mean, after all, Nintendo put 3D right in the name of this thing and then ditched it. So don't put that much stock into a naming convention. That being said, here's why I have a problem with this rumor. Mike Haskin, the leaker who tweeted the infamous tweet saying that he found evidence for a quote, secondary display of sorts. Now I read about every single article you could find on this story and I dove into Reddit and I looked into everywhere. And try as I might, I don't know what evidence he's talking about. If I'm wrong, please let me know in the comments because every website that is running with the story just keeps saying, hey, there's a model name that could be a new hardware, fine. And then they're making this insane jump to, and it's going to have two screens, possibly a clamshell design a la the 3DS. And I just, what, what was I playing? Uh, Donkey Kong. I just don't see where they're getting this information from. Like I looked everywhere like, no, it's not there. I asked Mike directly. I didn't get a response yet. Also, what day was that posted? Let me see here. It wasn't April 1st, was it? No, it was April the 14th. All right. It's just too big a leap. I'll buy that Nintendo is working on new hardware and maybe NX ABCD is the, the model name 
for this new device. Most likely a Nintendo Switch Pro. I would bet money that that's, that's the direction they're going to go. Whether it's still a hybrid device that's just more powerful or a, a device that is meant to just be in your living room, which I wouldn't really care for. I love portables almost as much as I love saying that I love portables. So a stationary switch doesn't appeal to me in the slightest. Now, not only is this a crazy jump of wishful thinking, the main thing here is that it doesn't make any sense to add a secondary screen to the Nintendo Switch. It seems like Nintendo, and I love the DS, I love the 3DS, I still play with my 3DS, but I think Nintendo has done everything they could with that design paradigm, let's call it. And they experimented with something like that with the Wii U, which, I mean, we all know how that went. I think Nintendo has closed the door on dual screens. This is obviously just my opinion. But the most important thing here is that that would fragment development for the Nintendo Switch. If they make a Nintendo Switch that has two screens, fine, you can play old Switch games for it, but then development for future titles would be more complicated and I'm not sure who's benefiting from this. So every single game would have to add something to the secondary screen in a way that original Switch owners would likely feel like they're being left out. Even if it's just like non-essential gameplay information, if they put manuals or a map, I mean, a map is essential, but you know what I mean. That's the kind of thing that could easily go on a secondary screen. But still, that doesn't make sense. Not to mention, this is, I mean, this is barely a portable as it is. If this would open up and have a secondary screen, it would be just too unwieldy. No, it's no. But the biggest problem is this. It would fragment development for the current Nintendo Switch. Every single game would either have to be updated to take advantage of the screen. That obviously is superfluous because apparently we're doing just fine without it. Or you'd have two categories of games, games that uh, work on the original Nintendo Switch and then games that have extra content for the secondary screen. Now, granted, this wouldn't be the first time Nintendo did something like this. With the Game Boy, you had this. The gray cartridges are for original Game Boys. The black cartridges came out after the Game Boy Color came out. So you could play this on original Game Boy, but if you put this in a Game Boy Color, they actually have color. And that's how you could tell them apart. One is gray, the other is black. And of course, sometime down the road, you had this. The cartridges that only worked on Game Boy Color. Now, would Nintendo do something like this for this new Switch revision with dual screens? Maybe? I mean, they have a history of doing something like this, but I would argue that it's much easier to just add colors to a monochromatic game than to add content to fill an entire secondary screen. So no, it would make development much more complicated and it just doesn't make sense. I would only see that happening if this was a true Switch successor. If they wanted to go back to the dual screen thing and make this an actual successor, that I would see happening because then all games going forward would be games for a new system and yeah that and then you could play it likely be backwards compatible with original switch games yeah i could see that maybe but don't expect a switch and a dual screen switch to be part of the same generation of consoles i don't see that happening but what do you think let me know in the comments down below maybe i'm wrong I, hell i hope i'm wrong i like i said i like the dual screen thing, uh, this is a GBA, let me, let me try that again. I really like the dual screen thing. I really like the clamshell design. I like that this protects your screen. So yeah, I'm all for it. It's just not happening. Not yet anyway. Do you think I'm wrong? I invite you to come over to Instagram and yell at me if you think I'm wrong. Add me on social media, Twitter, Instagram. I'm very active over there, perhaps too active, some might say. I post a bunch of behind the scenes stuff there. Maybe you're into that. And that's all the time I have for today. I'm Izzy and I'm done.